that asshole Victor to fall, don't you? Alright. I mean, I don't really care what tactics we use, but I doubt everyone's gonna feel that way. But I mean, holy shit, I bet Nisha's gonna blow a fucking fuse. A pleasure is always. Truth is, I need allies if I'm gonna wage political war against Victor and the ASC. You consider me an ally? I'm flattered. Simply tickled. Even more so at the thought of watching that son of a bitch Victor fall. He was once an ally. But, well, lately the bastard's just been killing my business. Wanna know a little secret? The big guy's a dabbler in affairs that are more associated with businessmen like myself. But never mind about that. I'd be happy to see him go. And just as happy to help a family member in need, of course. I gotta go. Then go. Captain, I know this will sound crazy, but I need your help. The armies. I think I've come up with a way to turn the assembly against Victor, but for it to work, I'm gonna need allies. It's not crazy, Zack. He's out of control. Something needs to be done. The army always remembers a good soldier's loyalty. 
We sure as hell can't help you officially, but we'll do anything we can for you under the table. Someone sounds excited. Well, duh, the landscape's drop-dead gorgeous. As for the city, integrating with the valley's natural overhangs and alcoves to avoid using a metal dome, you're a genius. It makes me worry about getting fried. And we'll always be strangers there. For now, most mutants don't have an innate hatred for humans. We just need to give them time to heal. Still, we'll never be able to walk a mile in their shoes. For that, we'll always be outsiders. I ain't mad, though. If I were them, it'd be my personal mission to fuck up every single humanoid who said good day to me. Right now, we must focus on uniting our nation. I understand you find it difficult to feel at home, but know that you are a friend, and that as long as I live here, you will be welcome. And when our people are finally free, I know many of my brothers and sisters will welcome you, too. Don't stress out about the roof. You won't be instantly mutated. I have heard tales. But yeah, what a beautiful place. Natural, organic, how refreshing. Humans should take notes. Greetings, Zachariah. I think it's time I answered Victor's constant attacks. I'm gonna need help, though. That's what family is for, Zachariah. We are family. United by the mutual suffering inflicted by Victor. His time to pay for all he's done has come. We are united in that. Now that we are at full strength, we must devise a way to compromise Victor's popularity at the Assembly. I've got a lead. There's this grizzled old general who's been bitching about the lack of info he gets about Aurora. Right now, he's the only one with the balls to call Victor the Dictor incompetent. According to him, the Aurora dowsers down Shit Creek and may have been booted off his post. If we can prove that General is right and isn't just some senile old man... Maybe the army's head honchos will be pissed enough at the colonel to kick his buns in the sun. And we would need hard evidence. I'm almost positive that Dandolo can help us. Not to send merchants everywhere, after all. We also have some connections with Technomancers over there. They should be able to tell us what happened. We could try Anton. Aurora's a little far, but there's no place that's safe from Anton's little birds. It's a start. Even if abundance is run from the top down, members of the Assembly would pay attention to uprisings. 
Some of your local allies could help you stir up some anger in the masses. The ASC has made their lives miserable for months. People are arrested on a whisper, live huddled in fear. It would not take much to spark the powder keg. And some politicians would turn against Victor, so as not to lose voter support. Brilliant! We would need instigators, preferably those in touch with the people's needs. So I was thinking, the opposition would be the perfect organization to spearhead the revolts. The alternative, though I would be more hesitant, the Bori could likely produce the same results with different methods. Perfect. Other ideas? Back when I was an artist, I got into some altercations with assembly members who thought my shows were blasphemy. Maybe it was because I didn't say hail to the shadow 50 times. I can't say for sure, but if we could get them to think that Victor isn't a devout believer, we could get the large religious sect of the assembly to revoke their support and demand his banishment. Or we could just give them a little nudge in the right direction by making them believe Victor steals relics for his own use. We'd have to stage an elaborate setup, but I like it. After all, the trickster must get what he gives. We'll need volunteers that could pretend to be ASC. The plan is right up Anton's alley. It's possible for Dandolo or the opposition to help us out too. One last thing. I was told the High Judge endorses all of Victor's decisions, even though I know for a fact that he hates him. Which is more than a bit strange. The Judge is such an honest man. Or if you're in the mood to make a scandal, I've got everything we need. Did you know that Victor employs young women to worm out information on men he keeps tabs on? And I'm not Victor, but I have a feeling he used that info to blackmail these same men. If we can prove it, the Assembly would have a major meltdown. Their beloved Colonel, a pimp. To find evidence of his trafficking, we could look for the orders he gave his goons. Have you seen his hands? Far too immaculate to be doing this dirty work himself. Back in my days as an officer, I ran into a band of girls, and I think this exploited girls topic may interest them. Maybe enough for them to help us. Indeed. How's this? I've heard that a small faction of the Assembly blindly backs up Victor, no matter how crazy the project is. So I believe it almost certain that their chief of this faction was bribed. So unless we bribe him ourselves, we'll have to silence him. Yes, we should get to the bottom of this, and see if it's serum, dirty laundry, or both. Anton probably knows. And if he is openly corrupt, the opponents of the Assembly should know him well. All these ideas will indeed cut off Victor from his support network. But This is going to sound self-interested, but if we could help the mutants escape from the pen, it would expedite the Colonel's downfall. The people... And the Assembly would be outraged to know that after decades of civilized control, Victor was the one who couldn't keep them in check. I'd like to see the Colonel try to justify his mistake of so many slaves, particularly ones notorious for their feeble minds. No, it's not selfish. It's a good plan. We're gonna help mutants in the pen prepare their escape. After a mass breakout like that, his reputation will never be the same. Thank you, all of you, for the ideas. Now let's make them happen. Hi, Nisha. Hi, Zach. Zachariah, I've received a message from Dandolo. He has some information on the disappearance of patients. Really? Did he learn where he was taken? The ASC had him locked up in an old dome near Ophir. In his message, he says that it's a dome that Technomancers used to use. Does this sound familiar to you? Hard to forget. Yes. That's where initiations would take place before a mantis destroyed everything. We'll have to go free him. The place must be teeming with soldiers fighting for Victor. But we can't leave the old Technomancer in their hands. Is something bothering you? How could you, Zack? An alliance with the largest criminal organization on the planet? What were you thinking? Can't you see they're using you? They'll use your connections to leapfrog to the top of the corporate food chain, and then nobody will be able to stop them. So you're hoping I fail? Let's not play that game. You know I want the best for you. But I can't bring myself to work for those crooks. I'm sorry, Zack. But you'll have to go on without me. 
I think I'll stay in Mutant Valley for a bit. But if you ever need anything, anything but this, come find me. I'll always have your back, Zack. It's just, if I did this, I could never forgive myself for letting the Vori run rampant. I understand, Nisha. See you later then, maybe.